Right, Twiggy's in for a bit of a treat tonight because I'm because I'm, I'm off work. You see, I thought I'll cook him a meal because I've not really cooked him one for about well three years or something like that. So I, anyway, I thought I'd cook him one. So I saw this thing on on Facebook where the dinner what was speeded up, and it was a, a bit of steak, and it did sort of hollowed out a baguette and then ram the steak in it and then put garlic and stuff on it and sliced it up like a bit of a roll. It looked dead nice. So I thought I'm going to cook that for Twiggy. Anyway, I've got all the stuff now. And uh, I've lost the recipe, so I'm just gonna have to just do it on my own, you know, and make it up. But uh, he sat there anyway, like a victim. I mean, you should be glad that I'm cooking him a bit of fillet steak on a Wednesday, shouldn't you? So let's get to it and get it done. Ooh. Okay, first, we've got a bit of garlic. Now, I can't remember how much, so that's it. <laughs> Next we've got some shallots, which I think are just baby onions that are a reject that they can't sell for big so that they call them shallots, said the posh. And so we've got four of them, so let's chop them up. <music> Next I've got some rosemary, and we do actually grow this in our, we've got a little herb garden, and we do grow this, but it's winter so I've bought this from Aldi, so I'm just going to chop it up with some scissors. I'm going to put a bit, a bit of lurk back in it now. I'm not quite sure how much, so I'll just put a blob in. I do, I do think that's sort of a blob. It's quite a big blob, isn't it? But it's not, it's not very thick. So, um, yeah, anyway, I'll have that as a blob. Last but not least, a little drizzle of Aldi olive oil. So uh, that's that's the mix bit. It looks a bit heart attack, doesn't it? But um, Twiggy likes sort of things like that with lots of butter on. So next thing I'm going to do is melt it in the pan, and then we'll get onto the steak. Ooh. Right now, now that's done. I'm on to cutting this up. Now the trick with this bit is what I've got to do is I've got to cut it so that I can ram it in the in the um, baguette that's here. Right, so, um, I don't know how much it's going to shrink, so oh, I'm, I'm going to make that in a slice. Should I cut it that way, do you think? Yeah, I could do two halves. Fillet steak, five pound for that little bit. It's not very much, is it? Yeah. Oh, there you go, that's two bits of fillet steak. So let's get that cooking next. Sweep, get bare away from that steak. Right, next thing you're supposed to do is hollow out this bread. So you've got the bread so just like poke an hole in it. And then you can stuff your steak in, but the problem is, is I don't know how big that's going to go. And I don't want to holler too much out so the steak just falls all the way through. So Twiggy suggested cut a, cut a bit of a slice in it. I didn't really want to do that, but um, I think it's probably the most quite sensible suggestion. So yeah, I'm just going to cut a bit of a hole in that now. I've got the oven on warming. Oh, you see, the whole point of being excited to make it was actually to scoop the bread out of here. But now it's just going to be like a steak baguette, isn't it? Well, I'm going to scoop a bit of the bread out. Stop panicking. I'm not panicking, I want it to be right. You know, you've got, this is the bit that I wanted to do, is to pull the bread well, bit just out. Keep your enthusiasm up and we'll guide you slightly. Don't you, don't you see, he's, he's interfering. I didn't even want him to help, he's just got up and he started helping. I don't want him to help, I can do it on my own. Yeah. He decided my thing was a bit too um, lumpy, so. See, it's supposed to be me cooking you, he's, he's always interferes when it comes to cooking. So he's blending it now into a bit of a blender thing to make it a bit more pasty. What do you mean? What You said cut a slice in it, it's the way I've done it. No, and I meant cut a slice in it rather than cutting it out like down like that. Oh, well you don't make yourself clear do you? I mean I don't even know why you're interfering. Look, and then... It doesn't matter what size the steak is, does it? You can force it in there. What? Right, look at that. What are you going to do with that? <laughs> hey. I th it would just turn into a beef forget then, wouldn't it? Oh, well, I'll have that bit. Oh, sweep, stop it. Stop, he's getting excited because of beef. Right, Twiggy says he's started taking over. I've sent him away again. That to Wait till that starts to um, sizz, uh, steam a bit, or smoke a bit or something. 
and then to throw those on and just give it a sizzle on each side so it's not to be cremated so it's still because he likes it so it's got red in the middle and um and then turn them over so i'm going to do that now and put the beef into this hole here so it's nice and just ram it in a bit always oh, fit nice that trigger ram a bit in the other end and did you do a slice this side it's a bit better than my attempt wasn't it when i i just did it just ram it in always oh, worked so now you can see we've got bread in a roll there so now it's going to go in the oven, I'm going to put a sprinkle of garlic on it, on that bit there, so I'll just get, a, I'll just get some garlic and go. <laughs> Ten, fifteen minutes in the oven. Nom, 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 look at you again. Right, we've put it in the oven now, I think it's going to stay in the oven for about fifteen minutes or something like that. Well yeah, fifteen minutes, that's what we've put it on the timer. And then we'll chop it up. But I thought, while I'm waiting, I just want you to say, I don't want people leaving me messages saying, look, darling, you're copying Nigella. I know she's a cook, and I, I, you know, and I know there's lots of people cooking on the t It's a one-off. I just wanted to cook Twiggy some dinner. Couldn't find the recipe, so I thought I'd share it with you. Won't be any more. I only do cooking once every three years. Last time I did some cooking, I made him a bacon butty, and um, he nearly broke his teeth. But that's another story anyway, so don't be moaning. That looks lovely, doesn't it? So, next thing is going to put it on the plate, and this is the moment, Twiggy. This is the moment why I've made this for you. How big do you want it? About an inch? I'll just chop it now. Just, it, but it's meant to be in real hard pieces. Chop it now. Oh, oh, can I not do it in four? Well, if you must. Well, that was the whole point of why I made it, because I wanted to do this. Does, does it keep that coming for? Oh, it's fell apart a little. Oh, look at that. It's still got pink in the middle. Oh, it's a bit off. Look at that. Bit... Look at that. Now you've got... Oh, it's fell out that bit. Look at that. Can you see it? Look at it. It's like a, a Philly steak sausage roll. Now, I was a bit disappointed because there was something I hadn't thought of, and that was a bit of garnish, because you always need a bit of garnish or a bit of greenery to make something look better, don't you? And um, I looked in Twiggy's fridge, you didn't have any. So, because I like compromising, obviously. Well, in fact, where's it gone? Oh, there you go, Twiggy. Garnish. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's empty. <laughs> so there you go, we'll put the uh, ingredients on in a minute. And um, I think Twiggy should enjoy that, do you? So what do you think is steak, Twiggy? You steak sausage roll? I think it's probably over garlic, but apart from that, I don't think we'll get caught by vampires tonight anyway. Mm -hmm. Would you like it though? It's nice. How many out of ten do you give it? Ooh, I'd say a good seven. Seven? Seven? Seven's over. Seven's oh, you're a tight git, aren't you? Seven? Right, that's it. Three years before you get another dinner. <laughs>